All right, KTC, here we go. Another weekly-ish update. I have a couple things I want to talk about today. First, I want to talk about training in the smoke and what our thresholds will be for either calling off workouts or adjusting them or bringing them indoors and what that will look like as... Looks like we're heading into the smoky season here. Um, I also want to talk about the off season. What does it look like as we progress through the end of summer and into fall? And what are the potential options around training? And then I'll quickly touch upon the last couple of races, which really are Ironman Canada, Washington, Cultus Lake, and uh, you know just some world championships, no big deal. So let's get right into it, talking about the air quality and training in the smoke. Obviously, today super smoky. It has really rolled in. We're currently sitting at a 10 plus, very high, very high risk. And uh, there were some questions on Facebook. Is it bad to train in the smoke or not? Well, obviously, there's a... Uh, risk reward. Uh, the risk is obviously inhaling those particles that do damage to your lungs. And the reward would be getting in a training session. Now, if you can train indoors with clean air, then I would uh, highly recommend doing that. But one thing to look for, at least in my experience, uh, if it is low to moderate, doesn't seem to be much of an issue. That being said, everyone has different sensitivities. So if you do have asthma or breathing issues, you may want to have a lower threshold. Uh, but anyway, uh, one to six, no problem. Seven's a little bit hit or miss. Uh, we've done some training in seven recently and it wasn't too bad. Uh, you definitely would probably want to modify the intensity or and or duration to limit the time and exposure. And anything above that, eight and above, we will either be canceling it, uh, bringing the workout indoors, or I'll provide you with some options that you can do on your own. Um, again, everyone has their own gauge or I'll say... Uh, risk acceptance and uh, that will totally be up to you but again what you can expect if it's like a day like today and you can't see the other side of the lake or sometimes the other side of the street <laughs> eight and above no workouts look for an email i will be modifying it so la next thing i want to talk about is the end of the season here we have pretty much a week and a half until ironman canada and then we have a couple more weeks and another big weekend where i know a lot of people are racing washington 70.3 and cultus lake all distances and then we have a few people right in between here i believe the first week of september we have nice so tom will be heading to nice and then we have or tom and uh, John, actually. Sorry, John. I missed you there. Hope I didn't miss anyone else. Uh, and then we have uh, Kona, which will be in October here. Uh, and that will be Kayla racing that one. So unfortunately, you world championship people, we will get you there in prime shape on your own. But everyone else, we're going to be doing a little bit of a reset. Now, there is no pool closure this year, so the 50-meter pool at H2O is going to remain open, which means our, Saturday, our uh, Tuesday, sorry, Tuesday, Thursday swims are going to remain as is all the way to the end of August and all the way through September. Uh, the open water swimming, I would like to continue, weather dependent, all the way to the end of September. If we have any uh, type of fall like last year, that should be no problem. <laughs> but we'll see how the smoke does as well. Uh, once we hit October, we are going to be doing a reset, moving into focusing more on setting a strong foundation for the next year. I'm in August right now. I should scroll down here. Now, this is not completed yet. I'm just starting to put together some ideas for the fall training. But again, it's going to be a lot uh on stability so really making sure all those joints are stable we'll also be focusing on uh, starting to build some strength some flexibility some mobility and hopefully just improve the way you move overall as well as the stabilization of all the joints to keep you injury free as we move into next year before we layer on all this training stress so this stuff um, is incredibly important uh, it's probably the most important piece of work you can do to have it successful next year especially if you got injured this year this uh, will hopefully give you the tools to stay injury free for next year because as you know there's nothing more frustrating than uh, getting injured and you know there's no guarantee sometimes things just happen but the more 
uh, or the stronger foundation that we can set, the more successful you'll be as an athlete uh, overall and as a person and for mental health and not being depressed because you can't do anything that you want to do because your body won't let you anywho so uh that will be the plan as we again progress through september uh there will be a little bit of a a break at the end of september away from the track anyway give you some time to just rest heal up uh all the track people tend to be racing ironman or washington or cultists uh doing these last or end of season races so i wouldn't expect many people to be showing up anyway so we might as well again just recover feel better and then we also have some opportunities to do some social time uh we have a opportunity to do a team social end of the year wrap-up party at king taps which i'm going to be sending out some information and interest on uh so one of our members thomas beetlestone the uh the big wig there over at uh, king taps uh has uh, generously offered the space and uh, I think that would be a really nice uh, way to wrap up the season so look for informa- uh, more information on that for end of September that would be after the cultists uh, uh, Washington weekend and you know we'll do some hopefully some beer rides and just kind of enjoy some some easy time again if you're doing world championships sorry keep training um so that is what the end of the season looked like now you do know you can pause your program membership at any point Uh, when you do put it on pause you can still attend the sessions up until your next payment date was supposed to happen so if you pause two weeks early you can still come for another two weeks and then you have to stop (laughs) now starting up again you can unpause at any time and your payment will come out on that date and that date will be your new payment date going forward so if you start back up on the 15th that'll be your new payment date again going forward and you can start and stop anytime there are no sessions it's not even i mean it's billed monthly but again there's no specific date that you need to start and stop on it can be totally up to you now that being said i don't hold spots and i don't have many spots still at 6 a.m i have two spots uh, that are available I know there are about eight people on pause. So you eight people, I have two spots for you. Uh, If you do swim at six o'clock and you decide to pause through August or September, again, I can't guarantee you a spot when you come back. And if you unpause and there is no spot, I will have to let you know that you're going to have to wait uh, or move to a different time slot if you can. Seven o'clock, I have lots of space right now. I got eight spots. Um, But again, more people kind of on pause from seven o'clock. And then 1130, I have the most uh, number of spots, thing like 10 or something like that. So there are space, there, there is space available, but uh a little more or a little less availability at 6 a.m which again i can expect and i'm really actually i'm happy that's kind of the case i was really hoping that we can have some continuity even though i say we're going to kind of reset in october i don't want to go back to what we did exactly last year i want to build upon that so you will see some new exercises uh, some new drills some new technical aspects that i'll be introducing um anywho uh it won't be a complete reset uh new people will still be able to benefit but uh if we're going to carry you know the kind of the same crew through then uh i want to make sure that we continue uh on our growth path together (laughs) i'm just making shit up now um okay so that is pretty much what's coming up and your options in terms of Uh, program registration and other than that i will have some more announcements coming out i do want to talk about iron man a little bit to all those iron man athletes uh make sure that you're all set uh same for washington cultist lake and uh, a couple of the social things coming out expect some uh, information on that and uh then we will be also i'll be releasing releasing a whole bunch of tutorials that i've been working on uh if you are not up on zwift and you want to train with us this uh winter indoors i'm gonna get you set up on that or show you how to get set up on that (laughs) sorry i'm not gonna do it uh and that'll be the case as well for some of the strength work that will uh start to move into and some of the running as well which over the winter obviously moves indoor to a treadmill and whether you want to join us or do it on your own that'll be totally up to you but i want to make sure that you have all the tools that you can successfully execute the program in here and i got a couple other ideas and 
things that I'm working on as well that I'm hoping to release for uh, for this upcoming season uh, as well. So that is it for this uh, weekly update. Again, to all those Ironman Canada athletes, embrace feeling like crap this week. It should come around soon. Hopefully by the end of next week, you are chomping at the bit to get going. Washington Cultus Lake people, uh, stay focused. You're almost there. We'll bring her down a little bit, recover, and then one final good push. And uh, yeah, world champs. I mean, congratulations. Uh, you are the best of the best in the world here. And uh, we will send you off, hopefully representing in the best form possible so that you have a fantastic day. But just being there and racing and taking on those challenges, uh, man, hats off to you. So congrats to everybody uh, who is still going. If you want to come back, <laughs> we're still going. Uh, your team- teammates would always enjoy the extra company. Uh, as I said, this is a team sport. It is a lot more fun when uh, you're not the only one that shows up in your lane. So please keep coming and uh yeah, you can rest and be on your off season and modify what we're doing as well. So anywho, we will see you bright and early, hopefully tomorrow morning or maybe dark and late tomorrow morning. And until next time, take care, everybody. Oh, I might see you online tonight. Take care. <laughs>